Given f of x is equal to 3x cubed, solve f of x is equal to f prime x. So we have the f of x value that's given. Let's calculate f prime x. So f prime x is equal to 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. Don't forget your x value. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So we've got our f of x value that was given, and we just calculated f prime x. We equate the two. So 3x cubed is equal to 9x squared. We don't just divide through by 3 or by x's, then we start to lose answers. So we're going to take this positive 9x squared on the right-hand side over to the left-hand side. And it's going to look something like this. Now we take out a common factor here. The highest common factor is going to be 3x squared. What's left in the bracket? x minus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 0 here, or x is equal to 3. How do we get x is equal to 0? Well, x minus 3 is equal to 0. Just take this negative 3 on the left-hand side over to the right-hand side. It becomes a positive 3. But with this 3x squared is equal to 0, well, we divide both sides by 3. We still get 0. We square both sides, and we still get 0. That's how we got that answer. So that is just a little side note. The graphs f, first derivative of f, and second derivative of f all pass through the origin, where x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. For which of the graphs will the origin be a stationary point? Well, it is going to be for the f graph and the first derivative of the f graph. Why not the second derivative? Well, the second derivative will just be uh, 9 times 2 is equal to 18. Don't forget your x value. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So that invisible 1, we don't need to show it. So 18x, that's just going to be a straight line graph. A straight line graph does not have a stationary point. 9.2.2. Explain the difference, if any, in the stationary points referred to in question 9.2.1. Well, at the point of the origin, right? For the f graph, that is going to be a point of inflection. A point of inflection, we are dealing with the cubic function here. So point of inflection, POI, person of interest. And with our first derivative, we get 9x squared. That's not a cubic function. That is going to be a quadratic function. In other words, a parabola. So it is going to be a turning point, a TP. That's it for the video.